Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading, I guess. I don't know, it's a reading for you. Okay, so thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so, it means a lot. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Uh, thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, it looks like um, something has been illuminated to somebody, okay? They get it now. They feel like you are their sunshine, all right? Uh, they, they they understand that you're the person that they're supposed to be with here. Um, with these yellow cards, they, they've gained some type of um, spiritual knowledge of or, you know, um, esoteric knowledge about what it is you mean to them. Also, um, I did a previous read. I might put it out. I might not. I don't know. Somebody just can't get over you. Okay. Um, uh, someone feels like your book smart or some of you need to pick up a book. You need to learn all that you need in order to start something. Okay. Um, someone feels like you're very smart. Um, you're smart and you're pretty, uh, or you're smart and you're handsome. Someone feels like you're a good conversationalist, okay? Let's see, one more. Let's see, let's see where we're going. Where are we going for Aquarius? What are we talking about? What's going on for my Aquarius? All right, what's going on for the Aquarius? Okay, another pink card, okay. Um, secret plans to propose marriage. All right, so maybe somebody's looking up how they can propose to you. Um how they want to propose to you. Wow. Okay. Now we're getting, so we had somebody, I don't value, you know, anything. They don't value anything overload on Tarot. And then we have, I think you're nuts. And then we have losing the house. Now someone losing the house could also mean losing the relationship. Cause sometimes you like to think of your relationship like a house. It's, it's your security blanket. It's, um, it, it offers protection, shelter, you know, from, you know, being out here alone. For some of you, it could be physically losing your home and my condolences go out to you. Do know that 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 is a material possession. You can now, you know, you can get another home. Um so uh do what you need to do in that in that situation. Um somebody feels like somebody is is crazy, okay, because they go from wanting to marry you or wanting to take the relationship to the next level or maybe you they talk about it. And then they just, you know, they act very nonchalant, right? They act very nonchalant in terms of the relationship. Like they, they're not steady. They don't keep things steady. Okay. It's, you know, it's up and down. It's mania. And somebody feels like this relationship is driving them crazy because they don't know where they stand with this uh, person. Somebody is definitely, you know, there's an overload, an overdose on Tarot. You just need to maybe take a step back. All right. Uh, cut it down to, if you're watching Tarot every day, you know, cut, cut your days down. However you, you feel, you know, you deem necessary or cut the hours in terms of how much you watch it. Um, somebody, you think this person is just not in their right mind because, uh, they can't remain stable. It's like, um, they want to be with you. You also will be trying to learn about them and learn about why you met this person and why you would have this whole situation happen to you in terms of a love relationship. What was it that you needed to learn from this also? It's just like a person says one thing, okay, and then you think you're going that way, and then, you know, they go the opposite way, and it's just like, this is crazy. This relationship is driving me crazy, and I think you're absolutely nuts, okay? Um, so somebody could be walking away losing the house, losing the relationship, like somebody's losing you, or they have already lost you, you have already walked away, or they walked away, uh, somebody doesn't want the relationship any longer, because uh, it's too up and down, it, it, there's no consistency, there's no nothing constant about this, it's very sporadic, it's too volatile, okay, uh, somebody is, it feels like they're going to suffer a great disappointment, um, travel with the boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah. So somebody wants to travel with you. Um, and it could be just 
like a hookup on the weekend. So somebody wants you as like, you know, their getaway or they're trying to treat you as a getaway or a booty call or just a hookup type of situation on the weekend. Um, it's the only type of time they have for you. They want to, they want you to interpret this type of energy, uh, for, um, secret plans to propose to you. So they want you to say, okay, well, if this person is traveling with me, spending money on me, spending money with me or spending time with me, then they clearly want me, um, seriously. And it's not always the case. Okay. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, Aquarius do ask questions or vice versa. You could be doing this to someone Aquarius. Um, if you travel with somebody and they, they didn't pay you, they didn't pay their way or they didn't pay their half or I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're going to get the money back. Okay. Um, that's, that's what it looks like here. Uh, let's see. What else is going on for the Aquarius? Good news for the Aquarius. It just seems like somebody that um, you need to get over, can't get over you. And maybe, you know, there's an energy of you being stuck there too. But yeah, past love, definitely. And there was heartbreak here. Things kind of, you know, fell apart. This relationship was for the short term. It was to come into your life with that book smart card to show you what it is you, you shouldn't want. You know, um, what you don't deserve. Yeah, and how maybe you need to do some work on yourself because you can only attract what you are. That's the law of attraction. You attract what is, you know, uh, about you, what is uh, deep buried inside of you. So if you attract uh, hurt people, uh, narcissistic people, scammers, I don't know, you attract this bad energy, then it's not to say that you're a bad person, but there is something within you that is broken, right? Because broken attracts broken. Healed attracts healed. That's why as tarot card readers or any light worker past seer, you always try to advocate for healing because if you guys don't heal, then you'll just be here overloading on, on the tarot for years. Just never getting, never getting healed, never getting, um, a new cycle, you know? So, um, do the work, do the work on you. Some of you are focused on, you know, work also. This could have been a, a work related romance too, um, that you, uh, are breaking up from, or you need to break up from. It was for the short term. It was never a long term thing. Um, you could have interfered in somebody's relationship or they interfered in yours. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. This, this relationship was to come into you, come into your life so that it could bring some spiritual growth here. Also it help you unlock your gifts help you unlock your gifts and uh, present them to the world. Uh, so it was like, let's give Aquarius this heartbreaking situation. So because Aquarius is book smart, can't pick up the card. Aquarius is a person who will start to ask questions of why. So when they start to ask why, we'll start to give them the answers through spirituality and growth. Um, so then in turn, they can start to unlock the essence of who they really are, their gifts. Okay. And, and they can start to uh, walk in that energy so that they can ascend, you know, come out of this base consciousness of, um, boy meets girl. And I think we're going to run away together and, you know, get a house and have a kid, you know, granted that is a, a beautiful thing, but that is not what we're all meant to do. And that's just not, the, um, the end all be all in our lives. We all have something to contribute, uh, to the universe. And, and that's what it's about. So, uh, for some of you, that's the story. And for some of you, it is not, uh, let's see. Yeah. Dark male. Okay. So you could be dealing with somebody who's dark. You could be darker in skin color here. Somebody who felt like they were like God's gift to women. Um, Rico Suave, they could have really nice hair, uh, really nice skin, um, take care of themselves really well. I heard they smell really good. Um, maybe they could even dress very well. Um, but there is a darkness to this person. Okay. There's some things still hidden. Okay. Um, things that they didn't even want you to see. Okay. Yeah. The brunette female. So they, they definitely wanted you Aquarius as the other woman or vice versa. Your person had another woman. They wanted to keep this other woman. Um, there is a dark female here also looming over maybe a relationship uh, of some sort. It could be romantic or it could be friend. Uh, it could be platonic, a friendship. 
this person does not have your best interest at heart. They could be doing something in the shadows. Let's get one more card and then we'll go to another deck. Let's see. True gem. All right. So do expect um, a gift uh, either from the universe. Yeah. Cause you got karma at the bottom of the deck or uh, do expect the least expected person to surprise you. Okay. They could be spying on you also. They could be keeping their plan secret. We did have secret plans to propose. This talks about an engagement ring. It's like somebody wants to do something, but then they don't. And it's just like they're of two minds about everything. This could be a karmic relationship to where you just, you know, um, you kind of got to work yourself out of this. You, you got yourself into it and now you got to kind of walk it back here in terms of, of this connection. Okay, no, I don't want to do this deck yet. Um, let's see what the fortune telling Sabilas have to say to us Aquarius. Okay. Okay. All right, so prison. Yeah, somebody's in a mental prison. It could be about money or loss or... Somebody just doesn't know. This also sometimes comes out when somebody is just like, they have mental issues, really. Diagnosed or undiagnosed, you know, it, it's an everyday struggle. It's a, you know, they, they're coping with the fact that they are, their mental is, there's heavy instability in their mental process. So um, also this could be somebody just mentally caught up on you. They don't know how to come towards you. They're beating themselves up. Oh, yeah, with despair. So this is definitely somebody with mental issues. Also, it could have something to do uh, with somebody just not being able to cope with change here with a despair card. So when, you see how both guys are holding their, this guy is holding his head, okay? And then this guy is holding a gun to his head, okay? Yep. Um, It's like somebody feels like they're just trapped in their mind. Dark night of the soul going over and over negative thoughts about what happened. I don't know if somebody took somebody for granted. Um, somebody is trying to understand or realize why they keep having these thoughts. They, they don't understand it yet yeah, about maybe a girlfriend or wife. It could have something to do concerning a wife. Somebody feels like they're stuck or trapped in a relationship that they can't get out of. They don't see any way out of it. Um, and then, um, this would be like a girlfriend, um, some unresolved issues, circumstances that they didn't deal with. Again, taking, you know, um, someone who had wife qualities, taking this person for granted, taking them for a ride, never, um, meaning well for this person, um, never really showing up for this person, being a liar, being a manipulator. And now this person is gone and it's, and now that you're trapped in this energy. So it seems as if, you know, displacement has happened. We'll just use Aquarius. So Aquarius, let's say you were with a person and you were, um, you really love this person. You really wanted to be with this person. Um, there was, maybe you were borderline obsessed, you know, um, and you would do anything to stay with them, make the relationship work, but you, you then realize it's just not working. Uh, so you walked away. Now the displacement happens. Okay. Now you are, you know, uh, neutral, um, kind of nonchalant to this person. And now they are in that energy that you used to be in, you know, trapped in your thoughts, not knowing up from down, not know if you were coming or going hurt deeply hurt, saddened by, uh, what they were doing to you or what they did to you or what they weren't doing for you. So it's like now they get to hold the bag while you walk off. When you were in the relationship, you were holding the bag and they were just walking off and, you know, doing whatever they wanted to do. So I think that's what's happening here. We have foe. So something that's in direct, con you know, contradiction or contrary to, so this would be Somebody could have left you for somebody else, Aquarius, and whomever they left you for, they don't, they're not even half of you. They're in direct contra uh, contradiction to you or comparison to you. They are, there is no comparison. This person left you for this other person, and they don't even uh, 
you know, amount to everything that you bring to the table. They don't even live up to your legacy, if you will, Aquarius, because you came up as a wife and now they're foe. So something is in direct uh, opposition to you. Yeah, constancy. Yeah, somebody is, um, somebody is like, look, I'm trapped in this situation that I don't want to be in. Um, and the constancy card talks about if it's going well, it's going to continue to go well. If it's going bad, it's going to continue to go bad. If somebody is realizing, understanding that, look, I made the wrong choice of person and things are just going bad, bad. Like there's no good in this. Yeah, soldier. So somebody is, um, this was maybe when they were with you, Aquarius, they were the love them and leave them type. This is also the love them and leave them type. Uh, they could be in a, in some type of relationship with this foe here, but I don't feel like it's 100% committed, but they're dealing with this person and it's going bad here. Um, and they may even have other options. They're trying to keep their distance. They're still, you know, out here, um, t taking numbers, names and, uh, going on dates and carrying on with other people. Uh, they're still on, on on quest here to find something, but they're also in a mental prison. This could be you too, Aquarius, where you just continuously think about this person, uh, servant. Yeah. So somebody was very yielding in this relationship or somebody, this soldier, this uh, playboy, this love him, leave him type. Somebody who was willing to do battle with you, like always arguing about what they weren't doing. And they were lying, arguing about what they were going to do. They were lying. Um, now they're willing to be, you know, of service to you or servant to you. Now they're, they're yielding, you know, to, to you, to your will, uh, Aquarius here. It seems as if now they, they understand that they're going to have to, to, in order to play ball with you, in order to get back with you, they're going to have to um, let this battle go with the soldier card. Then we have haltiness. Okay, so I don't know, Aquarius, maybe you're feeling yourself right now. Um, the peacock here, um, the arrogant one, maybe even conceited. Or maybe this is the energy that this person was in when they were dealing with you. Very haltie. Um this, yeah, this very arrogant person feels like they're running out of time and they they need to pull you back in. But the universe said that this relationship was for the short term. Yeah, they could want to send you some written communication. Of course, in our day and time, it is text message or email or whatever, but um, DM, um, they want to write you. Do, do expect a letter. Some of you are expecting an approval. It will come into you. A letter will come to you with an approval here. Wow, we got the thought card. Yeah, this talks about a um, a man deep in thought, uh, contemplating what to do next, uh, planning. And then we have that brunette female, that other woman, you know, jealous. We got somebody jealous of you, Aquarius. Um, the other woman, the other woman, you know, pining over this guy, this man, because. She knows that he is deep in thought about you. So she's jealous of you. Maybe even throwing you the evil eye. Um, she may even have other people looking at you, looking at your social media, checking in on you, asking about you, pleasure seekers. This also could be um, somebody just wanting to have fun. This could also be how this guy looked at this woman. Again, We, I, I, I don't really feel like whatever relationship your person was in, is in, it's not 100% committed. Um, there has always been some, a third party situation. There has always been other people. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Fortune. Um, somebody sees this very fortunate with you or somebody feels like you are a part of their destiny. Wow. Yep. We got the love card. You're a part of their destiny and they love you the love of a person or a thing. They do love you. They want to have this new start with you. This rekindling also with the child card talks about reunion um, because they feel like you're a sweetheart to the very core of you. You are nice. You are kind. You care. You're nurturing. And that's why they want either want to hold on to you or have another start with you. Some of you are, are practicing abstinence. Uh, it could be religious you know, religion-based or 
it could just be, you just not, you don't want to engage now. You know, you'll have your time where you will, you know, jump back out there. But some of you are being very pious, learning about religion, religion and spirituality. Um, yeah, some of you, oh, y'all are being like initiated. We have the room card. Talks about doors and opportunities being open to you. So some of you are learning about religion, spirituality, like the ascension process. And we saw that with the spiritual growth card. And I went through that. Yeah, cheerfulness. And and you are just finding fun, happiness, peace, maybe even by yourself or with a small circle of people. Um, one more card size. You know, you kind of, once again, are melancholy, nonchalant towards the relationship that didn't work out. Wow. And then house comes out because house, this in, in most decks, it talks about a relationship, the house. Um, also talks about your environment where you do your work. You're finding a lot of peace, happiness with how things are playing out in terms of a house or home. Um, also, you're finding peace at home. Um, some of you do work from home. Some of you find it peaceful to stay at home. Let's see. Uh, faithfulness. Very nice. Uh, again, approval is coming out. Something about approval. Just because you have been faithful to um, being a good person. Also showing up, you know, as good. Doing the right thing. Um, the universe could be rewarding. Yeah, rewarding you. On this journey here, you could be getting some type of a reward. They could be uh, reward, yeah, rewarding you for your faithfulness, for your your dedication to maybe this the spiritual practice that you do, the spirituality, or something that you do, maybe even from home. Um, where do we want to go? Let's see. So Aquarius, it looks like you're just focused on you. Yeah. And you have maybe put parameters on dealing with other people on your time. You've gotten more rigid, uh, stable in, in terms of uh, the energy uh, that you, you give to other things and other people. You're trying to achieve something. So you may be telling people, look, I can't talk to you after a certain amount of, after a certain time because, you know, I, I'm engaging in something else. I'm learning. I'm studying. I have other things to do. Um, also, maybe you were in a third party situation. Yeah, you text me, don't call me. Some of you are really like, look, I don't have time, especially if it's drama, if it's gossip, if it's anything like that, you don't want to engage in it. Yeah, I am miserable in this house. House is definitely, somebody also could be in a home where they're just miserable and they want to leave. Um, they're ready to leave. Um, it could also be a relationship. Somebody is miserable in a relationship, but they have somebody else. They may be telling you, look, I can't talk after 8 p.m. Just text me. Um, they do want you to know that they're unhappy. They do want to be with you. There's a level of karma associated with this relationship, though. Um, one more. Let's see. Love. Can't make it out. This person loves you. They do love you. Whatever their idea of love is, whatever their definition is, that's how they love you because you can get 10 people in the room and ask them what is love and you might get 10 different definitions. So when someone says, I love you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the place where I'll ask, well, what does that mean? Because it means something different to each and every person. Okay. Um, so, but this person does love you or you have a love for them or it's mutual. Let's see. Um, Wow, yeah, I stare at your picture for hours. I'm obsessed. Somebody is very obsessed with you. You make them happy. And we have the um, You Are My Sunshine uh, card showing up. Um, wow, you make them very happy. And they're miserable in their relationship or their home. Whatever they chose for themselves, whatever they are actively choosing, they're miserable in it. You make them happy. If you're a third party to a situation, do keep in mind that is what you do. That is your job to make this person happy. They were, they aren't strong enough. You, some would even say they are coward. They are a coward or cowardly because they won't divorce that situation and be single and search for happiness. Um, therefore, what they have chosen to do is stay in the situation and just search for a, a happy um, partner. Or something that makes them happy. A third party that offers a relief from their misery in a certain situation. So do keep in mind, if you are a third party to a situation, your job is that to make them happy. Okay? 
um, because they're unhappy and that's their quick fix to, you know, what's going on with them. So keep that in mind. All right. Let's see. It just costs too much. Wow. Can't make this shit up. This person says it just costs too much to leave, to make the change in my life. Too much energy, too much money, too much hurt, too much pain. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. I got to move. This person's going to be mad at me. I'm going to go through drama. The family's going to... Somebody's saying it just costs too much to leave. It costs too much to make the change. Somebody also is saying it costs too much to be committed. They're not ready um, to be in a committed relationship for some of you. Um, yeah, somebody say I'm trying to save my marriage. Okay? Um, they're trying to save it. And again, for some of you... You're helping them save their marriage. A third party only helps a person stay in a miserable a miserable situation because, you know, it's like now I can cope because you're here, third party. Thank you for being here. If anything, if I were the third party, I'd start sending out invoices because you owe me because I'm keeping you in this miserable situation. If it weren't for me, you'd be miserable, um, even you'd be even more miserable and you'd still be here. Therefore you owe me. And the cars want you to know if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. Okay. Um, uh, I think, like I said, this person says one thing and then they take it back and they go the other way. So you're dealing with somebody who flip flops. Maybe somebody has some undiagnosed or diagnosed, um, mental instability, mental issues, uh, Aquarius, this was a really good reading. Maybe for some of you, it gave you insight in terms of how another person thinks about you or feels. Let's see. We've got motivation. Yeah. Okay. So motivation. Question somebody's motivation for being with you, being around you, wanting you back, wanting to talk to you. Question your own motivation. Also, is it that you just want to win? Gracefully aging. Grow up. For some of you, and some of you need to deal with somebody who needs to grow up. Gracefully aging. Of course, it talks about the outward appearance. You might need to step into a new beauty regimen. Go get a makeover. Go to a department store. Go to the beauty counters and, you know, ask what you can do for the frown lines, for the this, for the that, for your hair. But also, it talks about maturity. With age, you're supposed to mature, right? Some of us don't. Um, and that's okay. Um, because you've got this card coming out, gracefully aging. You should be maturing. Your palate. Let's just talk about something simple. Your, uh, your, your, um, what is it? Now I can't even think of the word. But your palate for food. The things you desired at 18 should not be the same thing you desire at 38. You know, um, it should be maturing. You shouldn't be eating hot Cheetos and hot Fritos and and stuff like that. You know, I mean, you can, you can, you can, guess what? Guess what? Come closer. Yep. Closer. You can do whatever you want to do. But what I'm saying is the cards are saying you need to gracefully age. Okay. Let's just move on. Cause somebody's gonna be like, I can't eat it. And I don't give a shit. Um, memories. Okay. Um, memories are keeping you stuck too, you know? I'm stuck to the thought of, you know, you have good memories about maybe a particular person, place, or thing. Um, again, learn how to process memories. We are not robots, machines, or human beings having a human experience. If, God forbid, if my channel got, you know, struck down and I'm no longer doing tarot card readings on YouTube, guess what? Yeah, some of you out there would miss me, right? And you would have memories of when Elle used to put out tarot card readings. Now, does that mean that you need to uh, you know, get in the white pages or get a skip tracing done on me to find out where I am or what I'm doing? No. It just means that you had a memory of me putting out tarot card readings and how it used to really um, bless you with some type of insight. Um, just process the memory accurately. You have the memory, you miss it. Okay, move on. And that is how some of you need to do in terms of people, people, places, and things, romantic, platonic, familiar, whatever. Have the memory, process it, move on. It doesn't mean go digging, go back because I thought of John today. Oh, I must text him. I'm going to text him. I'm going to call him. I'm going to, Why? Yep, you have no reason. Okay, so moving on. Q 
can't make this stuff up. Some of you, spiritual growth and self-care. Wow. Some of you are doing a lot of spiritual activities, rituals, all of those different things. The, the, the cards, the universe want you to know that. Take some time for yourself. Do your spiritual baths. Cleanse yourself. Protect yourself. Also, um, you are ascending spiritually. For those of you who are doing the work, if you're not on that journey, then that part is not for you, okay? Um, spiritual growth coming out again in a different deck. Definitely, Aquarius, some relationship was to, to mold you, to push you, to propel you to your destiny, um, get you on the, the right traje uh, trajectory and not, you know, stuck on um, just base consciousness, but higher consciousness of, of yourself, of your potential, okay? So this is really good, Aquarius. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was coming out because I never talk about what people should eat or what they should do because I'm really... I care for you guys, but I don't care, care, but I do care. But dietary change. Some of you need to change your diet, whatever that looks like for you. Eat less of, eat more of. You fill in the blank. You do what you want to do. I'm not in your home with you. I'm not in that drive through with you, okay? So, all right, and let's, let's get some soulmate cards here. Self-care, though. Take some time out for it. Have like a self-care Sunday. Or maybe you go for a massage, or if you can't afford that, or you just don't want to pay for that, whatever. Um, you have a day where you relax. You do whatever is relaxing to you. If it's lying in the bed and watching TV and watching movies all day, um, do it. Whatever is your self-care. Take some time for you where you're not running around. There's no hustle and bustle each and every day. Some downtime, okay? Uh, when you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. That's what, right, Aquarius. So those first two cards of despair and prison, nobody should ever make you feel that way when you're in a relationship with them, okay? Where you just, you don't know if you're coming or you're going. You don't know what you mean to this person. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know what their intentions are. You don't know what their motivation is. You're just crazy, right? They're making you absolutely crazy. Um, but it says when you meet your soulmate, you just feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Very nice. All right. Soulmate cards. The hottest love has the coldest end. Yes. For some of you, there was an ending to a relationship here. Um, it started off very hot, very intense, but, um, some of you are just growing spiritually. You understand why this person came into your life and you know, it, it is what it is right now at this point. Uh, right. The more love and care you give yourself, then the, the more love you have to give others. Um, back to what I said, if I only have, I think I said it in, in this video, it might've been in the other one, but okay. If you come to my home and I only have hot dogs to, to feed you, which I do not, um, then what are you going to eat? What can I give you? Right. Hot dogs I have nothing else. So if you have hurt, pain, shame, regret, guilt, all of those dip depression. What do you have to give the, to another person? All of those different things, hurt, shame, guilt, regret, depression. Therefore give more love to yourself. And also that goes for, you know, anybody else. If you know that somebody is in a hurtful place or they're just very low vibrational, what do you think you're going to get from them? Just come on. We cannot get away from, uh, you know, just the, the laws of, of the universe, you know, you can only give what you have. If somebody asks me for $8 million, I don't have $8 million. I cannot give you $8 million. What I can do is give you $8. <laughs> so, you know, um, you, some of you, you, you depleted yourself giving, giving, giving to somebody who just wasn't able to reciprocate, reciprocate because they didn't have it. So let's give some more love to you, Aquarius. Let's see. Last card. Never give up on something you really want. If you want the life, if you want the the husband, the wife, the kid, the dog, you know, um, all of that. Don't give up on that. It, it can't happen for you. But do know that you're going to have to be practical, spiritual, um, and take action. You know, it's, it's just not coming to you while laying in the bed, being depressed and crying over another person. It's not. Your soulmate is not coming that way, you know, get up, get involved in life, get involved in the healing process. Heal also before you jump out here and say, I want to find a new person. 
you're just going to mess that person up or mess them over because you're not healed. So do that. Um, and they want you to know that power comes from within. All right. So you have a power Aquarius. This is what I have for you. I hope that it blessed you in some type of way. If it did, let me know how it blessed you down in the comments section. Okay. Let's put some hearts, some, um, you know, some healing. Uh, yeah, let's write heal. Let's write heal down in the comment section because some of us, we need to do that. Whether we feel like we have already done that, but we still keep attracting crazy people, then Law of Attraction is working all the time for us or against us. So we want to make sure that we have done the work. Um, let's type heal down in the comment section. Also, let's put some hearts down there. Uh, Aquarius. Um, this was a really good reading. Specific for some people. Um, this is what I have for you guys. Go over to the website. Book your own reading. Just like this one. Um, this will be an oracle reading. So if you want to where I use nothing but Oracle cards. You can go over to the website, book the Oracle reading or any reading at the website level. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below, paying for your question and then receiving the answer to your question. I also have tarot classes. If you want to learn the tarot, you can learn it with me. The link will be below. And I also have an Amazon wish list. If you want to purchase something for the, for the channel, you can do so. I got my first gift from the wish list. Um, thank you. Uh, and, and it's things for the channel. I will not have you buying me an air fryer or something like that. No, it's things for the channel. So uh, take advantage if you would like to do that. And thank you in advance. Do keep in mind that I'm live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where you can come for the collective reading. You can ask a question or two. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Put the hearts below. Um, put the heel, 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 heel. So we can do this collectively, okay? All right, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Take care.